Remembering Rockfest. Let's step back to September 2006 when Empire Theater owner Mark Rajat arranged a concert. It was performed in his outdoor parking lot on Front Street in downtown Belleville, bringing Randy Bachman and Burton Cummings together on stage to a sold out crowd. This savvy business owner promoter took his vision to the next level, and in 2007, the Empire Rock Fest was formed. From 2007, this unassuming parking lot beside the beautifully restored Empire Theatre in downtown Belleville, Ontario, is transformed into Eastern Ontario's Rock and Roll Hub each July. It is a crazy scene this writer has personally had the opportunity to witness every year. It starts to unfold several days before each event, when the lot is cleared of vehicles and big trucks come rolling in. The massive stage is set up, lighting installed, sound checks echo across the lot, security fencing is erected, portable washrooms unloaded, and huge tents go up. A well-trained staff control beverage, security admission, gate ticket sales, merchandise, and health and safety. Food preparation was monumental as a performance security staff and volunteers aid in shifts. Many acts require different menus specially prepared for them. Our team of 40 to 50 energetic volunteers organize the Rock Fest Raffle for Shelter ticket sales every year, with proceeds going to local charities. Over the three and sometimes four day events held every year, we raise a lot of money to help our community. Some of the top acts in rock and roll have performed for rapt audiences of 3,500 or more as part of the Rock Fest Musical Series annual Midsummer Empire Rock Fest. Legendary artists such as Peter Frampton, Slash, Styx, Boston, Leonard Skinner, Sammy Hager, Journey, and the Stone Temple Pilots have graced the stage. REO Speedwagon, Toto, Meatloaf, Alice Cooper, The Gorious Sons, The Beaches, The Sheepdogs, Steve Miller Band, and many other great acts have rocked Empire Square. My personal favorite rock fest year was the Great Canadian Empire Rock Fest, and it was spectacular. It was hot, it was cold, it was soggy, it was loud, and it was so much fun. This ninth edition of Empire Rock Fest was an experiment to brand the outdoor festival as a Canadian event, and it exceeded all expectations. Crowds of over 3,500 swarmed into the parking lot turned rock venue each night of its three night shows to the sounds of roaring guitar riffs, loud vocals, and banging drums, all from Canadian acts. The only glitch over the weekend was a pouring rainstorm on Saturday night that delayed the show by an hour. We were thrilled to huddle out of the rain under the volunteer tent with recording star Scott Hellman entertaining us. Call it that Canadian thing. There were no rock stars, there were no divas. Everything was so down home. Everyone was so wonderful. On Friday, the seated area was a sellout for performances by Alan Doyle and Blue Rodeo. Doyle, the former frontman of Great Big C, got the crowd on its feet before the legendary Canadian Blue Rodeo played some great hits that rocked the stage. On Saturday, Beth Moore started the show with a short set under the blue sky. The lead singer and guitarist Gordy Johnson closed the show with a heart-stopping patriotic electric version of O Canada. The storm delayed the start of a short set by former Glass Tiger singer Alan Fru, but he continued on even as the rain started falling. By the time Tom Cochran hit the stage, it was 10.30 p.m. His long set pushed the boundaries of the midnight noise curfew, but the crowd wasn't going to let him go. Andy Forgey and Empire Theatre owner Mark Rajat joined Cochran on stage towards the end of his arguably his most famous song, Life is a Highway. The three knew each other well from being involved in Canadian bands in the 1970s. Cochran, in fact, once sang vocals on a track recorded by Mark and Andy's band, Photograph. Rockfest will remain a memory to treasure as the Empire Square changes and evolves. Whatever is in store for us music lovers, we can be confident that Mark Rajat and Empire Square have our entertainment covered. <laughs>